Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Beauty Blog Solo Negocios with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for this June the, tw the 18th of 2018. And we're going to talk about the foreign exchange in, and, uh, in the Mexican market. The peso was appreciated today given the following pressures. Uh, the Bloomberg dollar spot went down 0.06%. The oil went up uh, in a posture that was more or less like mixed because of the two main referees referees of this um, market, the, the hydrocarbon market, the West Texas Intermediate and the Brent for Northern Sea of Europe went up, the Mexican mix and the OPEC mix went down. But the most important ones are the two first uh, that first mentioned and well they went up. Why? Because there are expectations given the OPEC meeting that will be taking place this following Thursday and Friday and they will provide a resolution on on June 22nd, but the issue here is that they are right now negotiating and the situation is that there is a division inside OPEC, one uh, from Russia and Saudi Arabia supposedly being influenced by the US, that they will be cutting the OPEC agreement or diminishing the application of the OPEC agreement, the efficacy of, this, of it, with uh, some gradual increases in their production to eliminate the agreement that implied since uh, December, since January 2017, that implied uh, cutting the, the production of those countries or all the OPEC and some allies like Russia. Now, in in the other part of the division is Iraq, Iran, and Venezuela that they don't want the cut. They don't want the diminishing of the cut uh, production agreement. Why? Because they want strong prices because it's advantages to their budgets or incomes. So basically that's the division and that's the situation that will take place this following Friday. Uh, we will know about it, but right now, uh, given speculation, oil prices went up. Uh, there's a trade war in place. It began with the US uh, against Europe, against Canada, against Mexico, and obviously against China. On Friday, uh, the U.S. ratified its uh, tariffs against Canada against China for 50 billion dollars. Uh, Canada and China replied that they will do retaliation with uh, the context of uh, more or less at least 35 billion dollars, but if not the same amount, the 50 billion, with some other tariffs. This trade war will bring pressure to the Mexican uh, peso because of the implications to cool the economy between China and the US, the two main economies in the world, to provide inflation to different uh, flows, trade flows, and basically the ones coming into Mexico. So that's uh, an issue that is pressuring our, our uh, exchange in Mexico. Uh, Banco de Mexico had exchange hedges uh, demanded for 5.25 times, that implies volatility. And the forex market is showing a diminishing position in pesos, where people is betting for depreciation of the peso. Uh, there were 21,000 short contracts against the 11,000 that a week before uh, appeared. So this implies that people is increasing, this speculative, speculative market is increasing its position in pesos. Other data, support for the peso, 20 pesos and 20 cents per dollar, resistance 21, 21 pesos per dollar in the wholesale market. The spread is 1.12 uh, cents, uh, 1 peso with 12 cents. That is the difference between offer or buy and sale in banks in Mexico. But it didn't have changed uh, compared to Friday and this helped a little bit. And also the futures, even with that uh, betting on depreciation for the peso, well, it, it improved a little bit on 0.03% for December 2018. But basically, linear depreciation, linear trend, still negative for the Mexican peso, and it will keep that way in the following days, following months. Basically, because of normalization of the Fed, that information already passed uh, last week, but, well, monetary instance this week is on Bank of Mexico hands, which will make a decision if they increase the rate or increase the offered hedge exchanges. And then we will have other information in terms of economic uh, developments in the U.S. that will provide information if the acceleration of the normalization will be sustained or not. But besides that, there's also coming the information on the, on the trade war. 
these two elements are right now the main elements on, this, on the volatility set, and we have to keep an eye on that. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for your attention.